Hello everyone. I'm going to use this book to tell you the story of the very first Christmas. Clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. Down the hot and dusty road went the little donkey. He was a tired little donkey and on his back sat the most special woman in all the land. Her name was Mary. Leading the donkey was a very nice man called Joseph. They were on their way to Bethlehem. When they reached Bethlehem at last, they found no place to stay except a stable where animals were kept. There Mary brought forth her son, Jesus. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. There were in that same country shepherds in the fields, keeping watch over their sheep by night. All of a sudden, the whole country sky was lighted up as if it were on fire. The shepherds were frightened. The sheep were frightened. Then came the voice, the sweetest voice that was ever heard. Be not afraid, for I have something happy to tell you. Tonight in Bethlehem, God's son is born. You will find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. The shepherds were no longer afraid. They were happy and all excited. They hurried to look for the baby. They found the baby right where the angel had told them to look. They prayed, thank you God for this wonderful baby, God's son. In the countries that were far east of the land where Jesus was born, there lived three wise men. On the first Christmas night, they noticed a strange thing. There was one very bright star in the sky and it was moving. They knew this was the sign that Jesus the Savior was born. They decided to follow the star in order to find the newborn Savior. With them, they took three precious gifts to give the baby, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. For many days, the wise men traveled on their camels following the star. Finally, they came to the place where Jesus lived. The wise men loved Jesus and they gave him their gifts to show how much they loved him. They laid their gifts at Jesus' feet. They bowed their heads and prayed. Today we come before this newborn savior to lay our gifts before him the best we can. God our Father gave us Jesus. He's the best gift we could receive. And that's why we give gifts at Christmas because God gave us the best gift to make us happy and now we try to make other people happy. We give many gifts, love, peace, prayers, caring, kindness. Keep giving those gifts to others. Merry Christmas, everyone.